From Surprise, Arizona, welcome to Texas Rangers Spring Training. Jeff M. here with you, joined by Nashville Sounds Manager Darwin Barney. Darwin, we're looking forward to a great season in Nashville. Give us an idea at where we stand now, how things have gone so far here at camp. No, camp's been well. You know, we've stayed away from injuries, which is big. Um, you know, we're trying to keep that big league club healthy. Those players will filter our way um, and strengthen our club, obviously. Um, you know, our goal is to move those guys back up at some point, um, you know, but for the time being, we're gonna do what we can. So, you know, things are well, it's warming up out here and the guys look good. Spring training by definition is always, for every team at every level, an optimistic time. Everybody feels good going into the season. However, there seems to be some some deep excitement around the Rangers at the big league level and what you guys are starting to look like with the sound on paper. The depth seems pretty impressive right now. How do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, spring training is a lot like the 20 minutes for a game for a player. You know, it's, it's anything could happen that day. It's the most optimistic time of your life. So um, once, the, once the games start rolling, the at-bats start happening, um, guys start feeling different ways, you know, feeling that out, how they're gonna navigate the season. But there's definitely some depth. You know, the Rangers have depth on the pitching side. Um, a lot of that's gonna filter our way. Um, and then position player-wise, man, we look really good right now. So um, it could be an exciting year for sure. We know that rosters are sort of in pencil this time of year. Nothing's in pen yet, but you mentioned it a little bit, some areas of the team that could be strong. Starting pitching, I don't know how it couldn't be strong at this point based on how the Rangers are looking and some guys who certainly could find Texas in 2020, but they at least might start in Nashville. You guys have to be really excited about the potential starting rotation the Sounds could have. Yeah, I mean, you hear it all the time that it takes a 40-man roster and a beyond to win a World Series. Um, and they've really taken that into account on the pitching side, especially uh, position player as well. But, um, you know, our starting staff, you know, we could have six, seven, eight guys that are um, on our rotation somewhere that are 40-man players. Um, you know, so these guys are all going to be pitching with a purpose. Uh, not like anyone isn't, but, um, you know, there's definitely been some competition going on, and, and that's exciting. That's fun for the players. It seems like from a position player side, and again, rosters are, are not set or official, but thinking about some names, people in Nashville got to watch a lot of good moments last year from Eli White, Andy Abanez. Those are a couple of guys who could come back, and then they're mixing in with what could be a loaded lineup around them of some new players. How do you feel about the position player front? No, I feel really good. Uh, we're versatile, and that's the big thing. You know, so as a manager, you have a lot of players that can move around the infield. It gives you, you know, some leeway in who's swinging the bat, who needs a break, um, you know, and things along those lines. And, and to speak to your point, you know, Eli looks really good. Eli's been swinging the bat. Obviously, his demeanor is, is the same every day. Um, Ibanez. You know, guys like that, you ask them where they want to hit in the order and, you know, they want to hit fifth. They want to drive guys in, um, you know, but that's a guy you might want to move up a little bit and get him a few more at bats. So, I mean, these guys, you know, they know what they want. They know who they are. Um, and hopefully as a staff, we can put them in positions to be successful if they end up with us. You had a great long playing career yourself. This enters a new chapter for you. What's it been like so far as you're becoming a manager for the first time and navigating spring training from a totally different angle? Yeah, you know, there's some there's some differences and there's some things that aren't very different. Um, you know, when it comes to walking through the clubhouse, that's all the same. Um, you know, I want to be the same guy I've always been. Um, the, the differences are seeing the field from the home plate perspective. Uh, I feel like I could run an infield, run a game from shortstop, you know, like that. You know, and then turning around, turning the field from home plate, um, trying to understand where everyone's supposed to go from that angle. Uh, that took a little bit of time to get used to, but I'm working on that. So, uh, you know, that, those different types of things, you know, how the game's going to run, uh, that's all going to work out itself. But for the most part, I'm liking it. Is there anything about being a manager that you're particularly excited about from the standpoint of maybe you always observed your managers doing it or you wondered what they were doing behind the scenes or what went on and now you're living that. Is there anything that comes to mind from that aspect in your new role now? Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, all the lineups I set on like MVP 05 back when I was a kid, <laughs> you know, like I'm um, really looking forward to that and working cohesively with my coaching staff, um, you know, but there's a lot that goes into it that that is new and, and a lot of that is the daily and how much it takes to really run one day of spring training. Um, when you have this many guys that have different places to go, uh, it takes a lot of working together and a lot of guys doing their job and, and kind of coming together at one time to, to make it work. So uh, I did not understand what went into it as a player and now that I do, it, it definitely gives you a different look on things. Most AAA managers coach third during the regular season at AAA. Will you coach third and have you practiced actually giving signs? I would think that's got to be a new dynamic as a first time manager. Yeah, that's part of it. My left hand tends to kind of just go up and down right now. So. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm going to coach third. I'm going to coach a lot of third base. I think at times when coordinators in town and stuff like that, um, I'll move into the dugout. As a position player, you know, the manager's third base coach, you're, you're in the dugout. And then as you switch, you run into them on the move. Uh, so you never are with your guys. So I'd like to take that opportunity at times to, to be in that dugout while we're hitting and, and be with my guys, talk to them, and just get a feel for how it's going in there. But for the most part, yeah, that's something I've been focusing on a little bit is positioning over there and, and making those reads. So third base coach is, is definitely something that I'm enjoying trying to perfect. It's great to see you. Thanks for your time. We're looking forward to a great season in Nashville. Thank you. All right, Sounds Manager Darwin Barney from Texas Rangers Spring Training here in Surprise, Arizona.